opening her up and rolling forth into great adventures this week. Stay tuned for all of the incredible details. Issue 5 of Mr. McCoy's weekly log, Roll on the Throttle. Remember, there's also a s'more version. Be sure to tune that in as well. Academic accomplishments continue to abound. This week, we've been working with dividing decimals, and along with that, we focused on divisibility rules. We've also worked with multi-digit whole number and fraction operations. In science, we conducted the states of matter investigation and answered the question, is black always black? In writing, we asked, what's this narrative really about? We worked to bring forth the story arc and we've been elaborating on the important parts. With regard to phonics and spelling, it's unit four, consonant digraphs and vowel sounds. In reading, an abundance of reading skills involving interjections, more uses for commas, often running about a school election, ordinating and subordinating conjunctions, perfect verb tenses. We also performed in a play, A Royal Mystery, which is a fractured retelling of The Princess and the Pea, and we compared several Princess and the Pea related stories. In social studies, we answer the question, what is the U.S. Electoral College and how does it work? And students performed another play, The Great Compromise. Here at LO Speedway 313, we have something called the pit stop. Should your child grapple with a challenging problem, I always ask your child to think first. In other words, head into the pit stop. I say, I will do anything in the world for you, but I will not think for you. And while your child is thinking, he or she is in the pit stop. We continue to use this as we continue to implement the language of learning here at LO Speedway 313. The City of Ember by Jean Dupra continued to blaze on the big screen. Yes, you can access the links to those read alouds by going to the small version of the newsletter. Likewise with Literacy Corner, which features informational text as well as literature, yes, those links can be found as well. Linking ideas with myself, others, and the world, yes, it involves the language of learning concept, Connect, and we work on that every single day here at LO Speedway 313. There are suggestions in this week's newsletter for how you can help your child make connections. You can make text-to-self connections, like what does this remind me of in my life, and how is this different from my life? Text-to-text, what does this remind me of in another book I've read, or how is this text similar or different to other things that I've read? And text-to-world connections, questions such as, how is this book similar to or different to or different from things that happen in the real world? Or how did that part relate to the world around me? To help your child connect, it can't just happen at school. It also has to happen at home. So be sure to use those suggestions. Our special schedule is as follows. On day one, we have music. Day two, PE. Day three, art. And day four, library. You can see the schedule on the screen. It shows which day we have each of the specials classes. That schedule can also be found in the s'more version of the newsletter. I'm in the homework adventure with you. Your child's next homework assignment is due on Friday. If he or she needs help, have him or her call me at 816-783-3659. I am the homework hotline. You can be in our adventures with us by following us on Twitter. The link can be found in the s'more version of the newsletter. And coming next week, it's issue number six, Green Flag, coming your way for the week ending Friday, September 20, 2024. Be sure to tune in this video version, as well as the s'more version of Mr. McCoy's weekly log. <laughs>